and we're underway. And actually looking at the third and fourth place uh, about Russell beat both those guys on the way to the finals. So both these guys are in. Well, I guess Richards. Richard, Richards, yeah. if he has so, those victories, yes. It doesn't matter if you, uh, as long as they come from your side of the bracket and you didn't beat them. And you have to lose. So it's. Uh, if Russell were to lose, I should say. Yep. Richards lost, he would have to wrestle one of uh, either Mueller or Darian Cruz. Sorry about that. Zane taking ground. Russell able to avoid danger. Passivity on Sean Russell. Second one means he will go on the clock. 30 seconds to score when you're on the passivity clock, the activity clock as it's officially known. Zane Richards getting by Daniel DeShazer 2-1 in the semis and he's in on a high single here looking to cut across to a double and now sits Russell to his button. He's going to score a takedown. Working on top now, Richards with a gut wrench locked up. Going to go to the right. Sean Russell, good job defending. Doesn't turn. We'll go back to neutral. One minute, 45 seconds to go here in the first period. I called Russell's quarter and uh, semifinal, and he was trailing at the break both times and then stormed back in the second period for wins over Darian Cruz and Jack Mueller. Richards had a pretty low scoring affair in the semis. Uh, him and DeShazer uh, only scored on shot clock points. Richards continuing to take ground, move Russell across the mat. It looks like we're going to get another passivity. It was asked for by the mat official. Must have been white paddled as Russell gets in on a high crotch. He turns tight, looking to cut across a double and finish. Quad pod for Richards. And that's going to be a takedown for Sean Russell. He makes it 3 2 now. We'll go back up to our feet with 52 seconds left in the first. Tightening up that score. One point match, a lot, of a lot of wrestling to go. Full period plus however many seconds remaining here, under a minute to go. Ear to ear collar ties. Richards taking ground, Russell with his heels to the boundary. That's where it gets interesting. Close bout, nobody wants to give up a step out. Nice and job Russell. by Russell, to circle back in. A little 360 there. Usually you don't want to uh, turn and face away from your opponent, but if you do it quick enough, get away with it, as Sean Russell did. And that's how we'll go to break. 3-2 lead for Zane Richards, a step out and a takedown, and then a takedown for Russell was the scoring in the first period. And you get a look at Zane Richards. Brian Medlin doing the uh, left hand towel flap over the left shoulder. It's very good technique. Yeah, full extension. And on Sean Russell as he takes the center, Zane Richards joins him and we're about to start the second period. Zane a little bit more on the line to guarantee himself a spot in those final shot. Russell deep double. He'll convert. That's going to be offered four. and confirmed. Powerful double for Sean Russell, and he explodes out to a 6 3 lead early in the second period. Yeah, big four point move. Those aren't easy to come by, especially on a stingy wrestler like uh, Zane Richards. But timed that perfectly, had all the power behind it. In deep again, single leg now, pulling that up. Oh, he just tried a funk roll in freestyle. Yeah, I don't, I don't know uh, what the plan was for that. I think he might have. They went at four again, and Coach Medlin is going to challenge. 
I could see given two in that you could say Zane initiated it. Um, you're not going to have a lot of luck trying to pass those. Uh, I mean, he he ankles. tried to dive under his legs. Yeah. You only have to stop his momentum a little bit, and you're going to give up points, or your opponent only has to stop your momentum. They're going to look at it now. So the officials are coming over. Third-party reviews. The head official has been making his rounds. Um, the tables have been uh, all in this little center aisle here, and he's just been going back and forth, adjudicating as necessary. <laughs> Over in the third place bout, Jack Mueller leads Darian Cruz 5-1. to one. Yeah, so whoever wins that third place bout is going to be rooting for Sean Russell. Yes. Because that would give them a chance to wrestle for true second and the, the second spot in the Olympic team trials earned by each of these six brackets here today in Texas Wesleyan. Nice facility, good size for four mats. Four mats and not a lot else, but during COVID times, they're not gonna have a lot of fans in here, so. The beautiful Sid Richardson Center. The Sid Richardson Center, one of the better centers I've been in on a, certainly out of any NAIA campus I've been to. They win a lot here. You know, men's basketball, men's golf, table tennis. What they? They're a beast in table tennis. Uh, the the 2000s were a good decade. And they confirmed the call on the mat. So another point goes up on the board for Russell. It's 11 to two now, and he's a takedown away from a tech fall. So Richards might be not be done after this bout. Two minutes to go, though. Russell counters, gets in on a single. Beautiful reattack. Now he's got a body lock. Steps inside. Richards, his left arm was kind of like in a high wizard position, standing wizard, and that's what he needed, but he's going to give up at least one here. And now Sean Russell just a point away from punching his ticket to the Olympic trials. And he feels it. He's in on a sweep single, looking to come out the back door. Turns into Zane. Zane's still alive. Ankle grabbing. What a scramble. Yeah, this time, no points given up. Stalemate with a minute 24 on the clock. Russell a little too ambitious there. Jumps the gun. Richards has a lot of work to do here in this 115, final minute and 15 seconds. Yeah, look for some kitchen sink. He's got to go big. Or potentially, he's got to think, I got another match coming up and maybe uh, keep a little bit left in the tank. I don't think he thinks that way. But. Yeah, I don't think he's thinking like that. As we go under a minute. Not only does he have to throw the kitchen sink at Sean Russell, he's got to make sure he doesn't give up any points as he gets in on a single himself. A good recovery from Russell. Now he has Richard extended. Yeah, this is just going to chew up clock, which is good for Russell. He doesn't mind those scrambles as long as he can stay away from big points. He'll trade one or two for 10 seconds or so any day, uh, all, all rest of the match here as we hit the 30 second mar mark. Richard's stalking, but it's not been able to get anything going this period. It hasn't scored since early in the first period. It's the aggressiveness from Russell that uh, has been the difference maker, timing his shots, making him count, and that's built up this lead, and I don't think Richards is going to have enough as he's only got 10 seconds to go. Got Russell on the edge. He can go ahead and step out, and he will. It's going to be Sean Russell, even after giving up that point, easily making the Olympic team trials. He'll win this bracket. All the brackets were tough. But champion, Sean Russell representing the Minnesota, the Gopher RTC, and Minnesota graduate. And we'll see a true second match here. Jack Mueller going to beat Darian Cruz 7-3 on the other side. Yeah, these the backside brackets are full wrestlebacks, not repishas, not like uh, international brackets typically are. So Mueller had to do a lot of wrestling as we check out some replays from that finals bout. 